Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Heather and on this channel we like to walk a very fine line between a shopping addictive makeup monster and a responsible adult with a makeup hobby. Now I really enjoy eyeshadow singles, dual chromes, multi chromes, blush, highlight, bronzer, <laughs> lip gloss, everything except pressed glitter. Today we are going to be doing a quick collection of my bronzers and individual contour products. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, stick with me, we're getting into it right now. So for today, you guys, we're going to be doing the bronzer and contour stuff. This should be probably the quickest video out of everything in my um, collection playlist. I did do a collection video last year, and I did a pretty big declutter twice last year. So I don't think I am going to um, be decluttering a lot. So this is more a collection video rather than declutter. Um, but I did want to show you, and if there's anything I need to pull out, I definitely will. So... With that said, the first thing we'll talk about is this Revolution. This is actually an eye bright under eye brightener, um, but I've been using it kind of like the Charlotte Tilbury, uh, what do they call it, magic wands or whatever, the contour one. Um, this one actually works pretty nicely for me. This is the shade Made in China. Where the heck is the shade name? Great question. Deep Caramel, it says so on the front here, Heather. Um, so Deep Caramel here is the shade that I'm using for contour, and I think it works pretty well. The rest of my contour products are actually in palettes, so that's really the only one I had to show you, which is why I just lumped it in with the bronzers. Flower Beauty Heat Wave Bronzer. This is one of the best bronzers I've found on the market. I've made huge dents in it, and you can barely tell because it's a baked product, um, but this is just absolutely a delightful product to use. I really enjoy every time I use it, so I will definitely be keeping this one even though the packaging is enormous and ridiculous. Tower 28 bronzer. I actually have two of these floating around because one um, arrived broken, so they sent me a second one um, for free, which I really appreciated, so thank you, Sephora, for that. Um, this is the shade West Coast. This is the Bronzino bronzer. I really, really like this bronzer, so I'm going to... Goodness, Heather. I'm going <laughs> to keep that one. This was actually in the color pop in the highlighter video, um, but it's the shade Wisp. It's a super shock cheek, and I think it would serve me better as a luminous bronzer, so I did go ahead and just move it over, but I'm definitely going to be keeping that one. I have a couple little mini ones here. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Still smells like chocolate. It looks absolutely beautiful in the pan, so I'm going to keep that one. And then I just picked up this Marc Jacobs one um, with the last Sephora VIP sale. There was like a little set there, so I'm going to be keeping that one as well. I have one of the Nabla bronzers, which a friend of mine got for me, and it was just the sweetest gift. This is the shade Ombra. Um, I really enjoy this bronzer, so I'm definitely going to be keeping it. And as you can see, I've made a pretty good dent in it. You can almost not see the name anymore um, because I've been using that one pretty consistently. This Juvia's Place bronzed palette, I really like this. This is actually the medium shade, which had I had the option for the light shade, I may have gone for that one, but I do think these shades work really nicely for my skin tone, especially with a light hand, so I'll be keeping this one as well. Very lovely packaging, too. This is the ColourPop Coconut Beach Pressed Powder Bronzer, and as you can see, I love the heck out of this one. I do really enjoy using this product, um, and so I'm going to keep using it. I have the Ofra River bronzer. If you guys haven't already noticed, I do have the whole collection from the original Samantha March um, collab. I do really like this bronzer as well, so I'll be keeping it with the whole collection from her launch. I have this e.l.f. bronzer, which this is one of their primer infused bronzers. This is in Forever Sunkiss. Sorry, the print on the back of these is like microscopic. This is a really nice bronzer, so I think I'll hang on to it for now. But I feel like I have so many other bronzers, I don't necessarily always reach for this one, so maybe I'll let this one go. Yeah, we'll let that one go. This is a little Too Faced bronzer. It's absolutely adorable. It came in a little sampler set I got um, like a year or so ago when I was shopping at the beach with my aunt, which I really enjoy, so I'm going to hang on to that one too. It's very cute. This enormous guy is a matte bronzer, which is ironic since it says glow all over the front of it, from Makeup Revolution. It is absolutely gorgeous. I really enjoy using this bronzer, so I will definitely be keeping this one. 
And then I have two more to go here. This is the Kiko bronzer here and I love this bronzer it smells so beautiful it's got such a nice like warmth to it I really enjoy using this bronzer definitely going to keep this one I do not love the packaging though the packaging this packaging is enormous for how small the product is and then this is the soul body cream bronzer and this is in the shade light I do really enjoy this one as well so I'll be keeping that one too so I think I only got rid of one bronzer and this video is going to be probably the shortest one out of all my makeup collection because I haven't really like started falling in love and being obsessed with bronzers the way I have with other parts of my collection. Um, but I want to thank you guys anyway for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Definitely check back for the other videos in my collection for this year and I will see you in the next one. Bye!